5 seconds to go. Supreme Court mooted having a debate and discussion with stakeholders to decide whether a test needs to be laid down to determine when the Supreme Court can entertain petitions under Article 32 of the Constitution of India. Article 32 enables citizens to directly approach the Supreme Court for the enforcement of fundamental rights envisaged in the Constitution. The Justice conceded that a large number of such cases were being filed before the Supreme Court today, forcing the Court to ask many of such petitioners to first approach the concerned High Courts. He said that high case pendency was deterring the Supreme Court from entertaining all such petitions. There are businessmen also who come with a big team of lawyers consuming time of court and arguing that Article 19.1 G is violated. Then how do we bring equality between the common convict and the businessman? Should there be some test laid down which say that only if these tests are adhered to the then Article 32 can be invoked. Thus, this is a debatable topic as to if such a test can be laid down and restrict its own power. We must invite a debate on the enforcement of fundamental rights by our court and how far have we been successful in this. The Justice in his address called for debates on constitutional subjects as well as constructive criticism of the judiciary. Pertinently, he spoke of how the Supreme Court discourages Article 32 petitions given its mounting case arrears. Some may argue that the Supreme Court should entertain all Article 32 pleas without sending them to the High Courts but we are not living in an ideal world. If there was no pendency of cases, then the scene would have been different. There are 80,000 cases pending in the Supreme Court. We are not only a constitutional court, but also an appellate court. When we have mounting areas, we need to fix our priorities on the question of whether there should be a dedicated bench to hear such cases, the Justice said that a decision on the same has to be taken by the Chief Justice of India. These discrepancies in the appointment of judicial officers result in the denial of adequate representation for persons with disabilities in the judicial services. The existing judicial services rules of different states are not only ultra wires, the Act, but also violative of Articles 14, 19, and 21 of the Constitution of India. The petitioner essentially demands declaring appointment rules excluding quota for persons with benchmark disability as a violation of Section 34 of the Act of 2016 and in the teeth of fundamental rights enshrined in the Constitution, appointment of an expert body to examine and bring uniformity to the rules that exist in the every High Court in relation to persons with disabilities for appointment in the District Judiciary. Exclusion of a particular disability should be based on regions arrived at after proper examination by the experts.